Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to correct doubled up income. I have a different video that I've made with the same example that's longer and goes through and proves why this all works and how we know we're not messing things up. This is the short version for people who don't have time for a lengthy video. Let me just take you to the spot where I can see my income is doubled up and then we'll go and fix it. I'm going to go to reports, reports. I'm going to go to profit and loss. I'm going to go to my total income. All right, so I'm looking at my profit and loss detail. I see that I have two entries, $300 $300, both of them from Duncan. In real life, I know, in real make-believe life, I know that I only received one deposit of $300, that I did not get two. And so I know that I've doubled up my income. I know I need to fix it. I want to keep my invoice. My invoice is good. And what I want to get rid of is this deposit where I've said this money magically appears from thin air and goes into bookkeeping revenue. Whereas the invoice has the record of everything that I've done. I'm going to select the deposit. Yep, that's bookkeeping revenue. That's the money that went in the bank. However, that's not what I want to keep. I'm going to click on the invoice. If I click on the invoice, it'll take me to my payment. I can go to my payment. Doesn't matter how you get here. Right now, I can see that this money also goes in the checking account. But remember, we only got 300. We didn't get 600. So to fix it, I'm going to change this drop down from checking to payments to deposit. I'm going to say save and close. Since it's linked to others, that's fine. It's linked to the invoice. That's how I got there. I have this deposit. I'm going to click on the deposit. This time when I click on the deposit, I'll see that this payment, which is linked to my invoice, is now available to link to the deposit that went to the bank. I'm going to select this. I'm going to trash can this. And now what I'm saying is my deposit into the bank, total of 300, which it's always been, it should link up to the invoice payment and it should not link up to the extra revenue. I'm gonna say save and close. This says it's been reconciled. Do you wanna modify it? It's fine because all I'm modifying is the income. I'm not changing the dollars. I'm not changing the dates. I'm just saying, please link this to the correct income. In this case, the invoice. I'm gonna say save. I'm at yes. <laughs> okay, so when I look at my profit and loss detail, I now have one entry of $300. So this is your speed run. I have a longer video, unedited. It's about 10 minutes. Let's see what the editor does with it to make it a little bit less chatty. But I wanted you guys to see, here's how to fix it. So if you want to see me proving it, and here's how I double check myself, and here's why it works, got a second video for that. If I can make a video for you, if my team and I can help you in any way, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much and have a great day.